A promise is a promise, guys. We're back with another episode. Let's hit it. Oh, everyone on the dance floor right now. I mean, you guys asked for me to make more, so here we go. Uh, if you guys didn't know, uh, just just a little heads up. I did start another awesome mod. Uh, it was called Doki Doki Lift Club, and that one was really funny. So if you guys enjoy something like this, if you want something that's more on the comedy side, be sure to check that out. But this is uh, completely different. I'm excited to continue to see what's going to happen. Let's get it. So I left you guys on a little bit of a cliffhanger there. I I want to know, too. I mean, I when I leave you guys on cliffhangers, I leave me on cliffhangers as well, all right? So she just started talking about her dad, and we played another mod where she kind of did this, but I want to know what she's going to say here. But I'm not going to talk about that. Oh! <laughs> well, oh, okay, then, wow. Wow, so much for that cliffhanger, then. Natsuki changes back to the, uh, to the subject at hand. To emphasize what she's doing, Natsuki sticks a finger in the icing, and it pops in her mouth. I, re I reluctantly start to do the same. Hey, Natsuki suddenly grabs my wrist. I don't want your gross fingers in my icing. Your icing? Are you forgetting who did all the work? I started to fight back trying to inch my finger towards the, the bowl. Don't make me beat the crap out of you next. I'd like to see you try. Really, I would. I push harder just enough with my finger to reach the icing. I triumphantly scoop some of my <laughs> some with my finger just as Nats Natsuki tugs with all of her might. Ah! The force of Natsuki pulling me causes me to stumble, making her stumble and turn. She's... You think she can really uh, hold hold back this powerful monster? Is what I call myself. I will crush you, Natsuki. All right. I'm sorry. You you didn't deserve that. I would never do anything to harm Natsuki Bay. Gross. You got it on my face. I smile with determination. <laughs> He's like, mm. <laughs> whose fault is that? There's a big glob of icing on on Natsuki's cheek. She tries to reach it with her tongue, but it's too far away. Jeez. You know what? Take this! Natsuki instead wipes off her finger before shoving her finger towards my own face. You wish! I'm faster and sneakier! I grab her wrist with my hand before it reaches my face. Natsuki tries to use both, her hands, both of her hands to fight back, but I grab that one as well. And this is where we get the FBI called on us. Ah, <laughs> stop! <laughs> no way! <laughs> we like throw her through the wall, she's like, <laughs> stop! <laughs> The fight just like progressively gets worse and worse until we're like destroying the city. Sorry, I'm going off one of those uh, trails. Not until you apologize for calling me gross. Fine, fine, I'm sorry. You know I didn't mean it. It's just seeing you. It's just fun seeing you react to it. Uh, you do to you do it to me all the time, you know, saying dumb things just to get a reaction out of me. You really shouldn't tease girls like that. Is that so? In that case, I probably shouldn't do this either. She's like. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, they're like punching each other all hard. I take Natsuki's finger and put it in my mouth, looking off the icing. Oh god, wow. A little stepping over the line there, dude. <laughs> Yum. Oh, she's so surprised. Wait, is this- I- I like- I seriously been playing so much of this game that I can't even remember what the real story is like anymore. <laughs> she's so surprised she- so we stuck her finger in my mouth. She's so surprised that she can't even be mad at me. Her face is entirely red. I think I broke her. Success. <laughs> Scrub pie. You really shouldn't do that kind of thing unless you really like them. Oh yeah, I think she she did say that before. Haven't you figured it out yet? Maybe she's starting to get it. How did the mood turn? Oh god, so we're confessing again. Well, I mean, we're just like a little player, aren't we? We're just confessing to all the girls. I don't think that's very right, okay? I really do that. <laughs> Natsuki gazes at me in silence. I notice her swallow breast, or shallow breast. Why am I starting to feel dizzy? Uh... Out of nowhere, the fire alarm starts going off, okay? Natsuki rushes over to the oven. Is something burning? Do I smell toast? I thought you uh, didn't put the cupcakes in yet. <clears throat> no wonder. You left a dirty pan in here, uh, dummy. Oh yeah, that's right, we did totally do that with the pizza. That's a nice storytelling there. How could you make a mistake like that? Dang, it's the pizza pan for Friday, when we were net net Netflix and chatting. You should have checked before turning it on, dummy. Jeez. Natsuki uses an oven mitt to grab the blackened pan out of the oven. She sets it on the, uh, the sink and rinses it out with water. So what was that pan, like, full of food or what? <laughs> yeah, it was dirty. We still had, like, four slices of pizza on it. That's why it caught on fire. I turn on the vent fan uh, on the stove. In another moment, the fire alarm starts. Or moment, the... Blah, blah. What is wrong with me? Like, I... Some days I'm really great at reading. Other days I'm really bad, okay? You have to forgive me. La 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 la. Anyway... I'm putting them in the oven now. Yeah. The tension from the moment before still lingers over our heads, but the moment has already been lost. I watch as Natsuki slides the cupcakes into the oven. Then I reluctantly try to pick the whisk up and continue with the icing like nothing ever happened. So we're, we haven't confessed just yet. We're gonna get there. Oh, that smells so good. The cupcakes are ready to be pulled out of the oven. As soon as Natsuki opens the oven door, a blast of sweet-smelling warm air fills the room. Don't you just love it? Like cookies, like smell chocolate chip cookies in your house. Uh... 
Kind of what this candle smells like. It's really, really good. I don't know. That's irre that's very irrelevant. I'm sorry. Look how cute they all look. She proudly shows off the different colored cupcakes in each of the trays. They'll look even better once we add the icing. Not like you need to tell me that. I brought the decorating stuff, so I hope you can get creative. Here, scoop the icing into these bags. Natsuki hands me some plastic bags. I have these nozzles that will make it look nice and fluffy. This one could even make flowers. We probably won't be using this, uh, this one, though. What's this one for? I picked, uh... <laughs> I pick up one of the nozzles that has much thinner tip than the others. That's That one's really thin so you can use it to make stripes or other patterns. But you can also use it to write stuff on a cake. Like happy birthday or whatever. Huh, I see. That gives me an idea actually. Huh? Well, it's a literature event, right? We could make it more literature themed by writing a different word on each of the cupcakes. That's actually a really good idea. It's uh, super cute. Super cute, dude. It would be fun to see people choose the, uh, their cupcake based on a word that they like. Huh? I was kind of expecting you to say something really stupid, but that's actually a really cute idea, so she's like used to like, I'm just, I'm just so used to stupid things coming out of your mouth all the time. Maybe I'm getting it from you. What's that supposed to mean? I'm not cute. Come on, we're not at school, no one's judging here. You can't dress and act like this and not expect me to think you're cute. Well, Natsuki voice trails off. Same with you. Ooh, she just called us cute. Oh, did you say something? Uh, nothing. Let's just uh, get get the icing, okay? Natsuki picks up the pace and fastens the nozzle into each of the bags. There's a lot to do, so we shouldn't be wasting time. Here, I'll show you how to do it. Without giving me a chance to think about it before, Natsuki quickly moves on. She shows me how to apply the icing, and then we get to work. When we're finally finished, Natsuki puts them aside... When we're finally finished, Natsuki puts them side by side to admire our work. Look how pretty they are together. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Uh, I wish I would have... I wish I could have one now. Well, there's no reason you can't, right? I don't see any harm in that. Well, yeah, but my dad's making dinner tonight, so I'll really need to save my appetite. Uh, Sayuri... Sayuri's the exact opposite in that regard. If she was here, we'd probably be down 10 cupcakes already. And now... And she would still eat dinner, that fatty. If Natsuki wasn't around right now, I would have eaten all these cupcakes by now. Come on, that's just unhealthy. Besides, when my dad cooks, I need to eat as much as I, of it as I can. Why so? Doesn't he cook for you every night, right? Right. Natsuki gives me a long pause. Well, well dang, what a scumbag. Well, anyway, I was hoping we could have time for manga, but I need- Oh my god, I'm just so angered by her dad right now, okay? How could- Seriously, how could she- How, how could he mess with my, my, my poor Natsuki like this? So Natsuki's dad is like John Goodman from Family Guy? And I put it in your napkin. <laughs> Put it in your napkin. Yeah. Put it in your napkin. Yeah. I'm yeah. not gonna. Yeah. <sighs> you know, some people would be very happy to have this food, like John Goodman's family. Please, Daddy. I told you, when I'm finished, you can have what's left. There won't be any left. There's never any left. Oh, poor Natsuki. <laughs> oh, you're leaving already? That's a shame. It's your fault for working so slowly. You should have thought about that. It's not like you'll always have this chance. Man, as usual, Natsuki places the blame on me. You can, uh, you can bring the cupcakes tomorrow, right? If you and Sayori each carry something, you could probably do it in one trip. Yeah, I, I could do that. And don't worry, I won't let her eat any. <laughs> I wish she would listen to me the way she listens to you. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm all packed up. Good work today. Wow, so this is interesting. We didn't have a chance to, like, confess to her, you know? You too. And still, and I don't think it's right that we're confessing to all the girls. It's like, do they not realize that we're being a pimp? You know, because that's basically what we're doing. We're a doki doki pimp, and I don't like it one bit. I'll walk you out, I guess. I mean, I guess we're just trying to save all the girls. Like, we... I, I understand that we... Like, that is what we're trying to do. We're trying to save them all, and so that's why we're confessing to them all. But is it right if you think about it at the end? Like, what are they going to do when they all fi like, find out that we've confessed to all of them? And just like that, Natsuki is already about to leave. It feels like the day went by in a flash. More than that, did I even take the opportunity to get close to her like I wanted? Well, I guess I'll be off then. Thanks for all the help and everything. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, Natsuki. <laughs> ah, what you said before about not always having this chance. It doesn't have to be that way at all. I had fun today. You showed me how fun, how fun baking could be. Like you wanted, I had more fun than I usually do with cooking. But aside from that, you can come over anytime, okay? I think that if possible, I'd like to spend more time like this. If you want to read manga or go out somewhere... Uh, <laughs> do you really mean that? Natsuki looks at me tensely like she's trying to hide her expression. Yeah, I really, really mean that. I want to spend more time with you. Scrub high. I thought you only cared about getting this done. No, silly, I care about you. If there's anything you want to talk about, hey, I'm all ears. I'm sorry I had to leave so early today. I really didn't want to. I would really stay here longer if I could. I feel the same way as you, uh, so... Natsuki. Natsuki suddenly gets closer to me. Natsuki, I want to tell you how much you mean to me. 
Standing inches from me, Nats Natsuki looks up at me. I feel her fingers gently clutch into my hands. Her rose-colored cheeks and matching eyes filled my uh, vision, along with her slightly parted lips. Oh. It's hap- it's happening! <laughs> my head starts going dizzy as I feel her soft breath against me. I felt it for a while now. I want to tell you how much I love you. Oh, so she suddenly jumps back. Sayori? Oh no! This is where Sayori comes in. Ah, <laughs> she's always- always has a stupid look on her face. Hi, Scrub Pie. Sayori, just now we were- It's okay, Scrub Pie. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh, well, you should have come a little earlier. I'm already on my way out, so- Ah, uh, really? That's too bad. Yeah, well, I'll still see you at the festival tomorrow, so it's fine. Just don't eat cupcakes before then! Anyway, later. Clearly, <laughs> clearly flustered, she hurries off and Natsuki waves goodbye. Say Sayori walks up to me. Sorry for ruining the moment. I know what you were doing, and it's okay. Monica explained to me how everyone is hurting and how you were helping. I trust you. I believe in you. But what about, like, we, did we totally kiss or something? Huh? Be good to us, alright? Sayori starts to whimper. I hold Sayori in my arms again. I said it before and I'll say it again. I love you all and I will, pr I will protect your happiness. All of you are the world to me. I'm so happy to hear that from you, Skrupai. I will save them all. I, it's a little confusing. Okay, I guess I guess we're not as romantically involved as I uh, had thought we were. <laughs> you know? I have another dream. Strange. I haven't had any dreams these past few nights. My body's still floating, but it feels lighter. I hear a voice. Today's a very special day for all of them. Be sure you have something for each of them. I awaken to the sunrise. My head fortunately doesn't feel any sharp pain. What can I make sure to have with me uh, for each of them? I have a moment to clarify for once. I should start with Monica. I go into my drawer and get a sealed fancy pin. I knew this would come in handy. I brought- I bought a few fancy calligraphy pins a while ago and I never had time to use them. I think Monica would love this. I wrap up the calligra calligraphy pins for Monica. Okay, next is Sayori. I dig up and find a keychain I bought for her a while ago, but forgot to give it to her. I have no idea why I didn't give this to her sooner, but it would be great to give it to her today. I wrap it up and put my uh, put it in my uniform pocket. Next is Natsuki. I know this is fact. I know this for a fact. Her dad is a scumbag. He doesn't feed her every day. I can tell she's too small. I stupidly made the mistake thinking she was a uh, first year, when in fact she was the same year as us. I have to stop noticing these little things. I know that. I know what would be good for her. I know she puts her love into her cupcakes. I put my love into my cookie for her and I uh, made her a box lunch. I can slip it to her at the right time. She won't be able to say no. I head downstairs. I make Natsuki a cute and overfilled box lunch. Wow, I even surprised myself. I also make some more food for the festival and place it into a large bento box. I pack it all into my backpack. I pack up the cupcakes and place them with my, with my backpack by the door. I also place the banner that Yuri and I made since uh, they dried. All that's left is Yuri. Hey, just get her a pin. She likes pins. I know she's into knives and books, especially ones that are very engrossing. I pull out the portrait of Markov from my bag. I open up the book and skim through it uh, more to see more about it. I started getting more and more obsessed with reading the pages. I can't stop reading the pages. Why can't I stop reading? I see weird notes scribbled on the pages uh, the further I read. Is this my handwriting? The text quickly blurs in my eyesight. I black out. Oh, oh my god. I have a strange dream. I keep hearing voices in my head about wanting me to open the third eye. Oh my god, yes! Yes! This is actually going into that a little bit. Yeah. About wanting to open it to see God or become one. To alter time, space, reality itself. Oh god, I wake up on the floor. No, you can't do that! Oh man, I was all excited. I look at my watch to find out uh, that an hour has passed. This book is messed up. If Yuri actually has been rereading this, she's been in big trouble. <laughs> I use my computer to look up the book and the author. I can't find any such book that exists. Where did she get this? This is very bad. I run to my medicine cabinet and grab bandage wraps, antibiotic medicine, rubbing alcohol, and medical tape. I set it on a pile to take with me and place in my bag. I don't know how much damage she's done to herself now, but this needs to stop. I know she's an intense girl, but I think this book combined with her personality may be setting her off into a deep end. I'll hide the book and lock it into my desk drawer. I know what I can give her. I decided to give Yuri my copy of El Hazard, the Magnificent World Manga. <laughs> I pack all three volumes into my bag. She enjoys reading stories that take her to other worlds. This one is literally that. I head back downstairs and get ready to head out to school. Alright, so we're gonna do some more stuff with Yuri that hasn't been really concluded yet. I hear my doorbell ring. I go and check who it could be. Hello? Oh, hey! <laughs> Surprise! Don't forget about us. Yeah! Wow, 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 I'm surprised. So many girls here. If you're wondering where Monica is, she went ahead to start uh, getting the class ready for the pamphlets. 
you messaged us ahead of time, uh, asking for us to come by. But we wanted to come anyways. What she said, I blushed in amazement. Well, dang, this is a surprise. You know what? I'm happy uh, that all you came. Let me butter them up. I needed help with taking some of the things to school. Would you beautiful girls all be as kind as to help me? They're just too cute. I proceed to walk with the girls to school with cupcakes and the banner in hand. The girls are silent as if they're either too shy or just don't know how to respond back to me. I discreetly handed Natsuki the box lunch on the way inside the school. She tried to refuse but hesit hesitantly took it. Well, we got to school safely with everything. Scrubply, glad you made it, everyone. Uh, great to see you, Monica. Hey, everyone. Let's get everything ready for the festival. This is the first time I've done this and I won't be letting anyone or anything ruin this for me or us. <laughs> Monica sure looks fired up. It's finally happening. Monica goes around happily and places more pamphlets around the classroom. I place my bag down with a, a set of cupcakes and the banner. The girls helped me carry the other ones. It was hard to keep Sayuri from eating them on the way, but I promised her a surprise later. I pat the overfilled box lunch uh, into my bag. All of us start getting to work. Sayuri and Natsuki start unpacking the cupcakes. Yuri starts placing the doorway curtain. I start unpacking the banner for Yuri to work on. I unpacked and placed uh, out the leftover paint I had from the Saturday. I sealed it in a small plastic containers. Yuri, the banner is ready for you. Coming! Yuri rushes to me in a flusher after putting the doorway curtain. Oh yes, let me finish this. Yuri dabs the black paint with a brush. The paint seems a little dry. Uh, it needs a little more water. Yuri grabs a small cup from the closet and smiles intensely. I'll be right back. I'll go get some water for the paints. Oh, she's getting water again. This is never good. Oh no, you don't! No, 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 no! I'm not letting her cut herself again. What is it with her obsession with water and doing that? Like, why do those go hand in hand? I'm just like a little curious. I quickly grab Yuri's hands. Sorry to cut in, but please allow me. Yuri blushes. Everyone else stares. She lets go of the cup into my hands. I quickly leave the class with the cup in hand. So we're just doing it in place of her. Oh god, no, not this again. I head to the water fountain down the hall. I quickly fill up the cup. I head back to the class. Okay, I was getting a little scared. The music was changing again. I'm back. I smell a familiar smell. I see and smell the that I see and smell that Yuri set up the oil diffuser while I was away and has it turned on. Uh, I pour in a little water into the paint and stir it with the paintbrush. Here you go, Yuri. Oh yeah, right, the lettering. Yuri gets to work on the banner. I'll leave her at it. Now let's see what else I can do. I ask the girls around, but they're all busy working on their things. I go to the closet and get a broom and dustpan. I start sweeping the floor in the classroom. The girls stare at me in amazement. They start whispering to themselves. Wow, he really has changed. It looks like he actually cares about the club for a change. Before he always has no enthusiasm when he did everything. He's so cool. He's like a completely different person. Uh, you don't know the half of it. What do you mean? Nothing, nothing. Forget I said that. <laughs> they all look especially at Monica. Anyways, he's changed for the better. I love the way he is now and hope he doesn't change. Love? Did you say love? What, did I stutter? By the way, uh, there will be some free time for us today. We'll walk around and how about a friendly game of rock, paper, scissors to determine who takes breaks first. Yuri's getting fired up. You're Ron. <laughs> Look, she's so determined. The other girls turn their heads to then turn back to Monica. Let's do this. I feel like something terrible is going to happen. I see the girls all playing rock, paper, scissors aggressively. Rock, paper, freaking scissors. <laughs> Yay, I won. Monica won. She dominates the girls with her skills. No fear, it's like he, she can read our minds. I wonder about that, huh? <laughs> Natsuki takes second. All that is left is Sayuri and Yuri. Sayuri and Yuri. Sayuri grins. Ah, why do I keep losing? Maybe because you're too slow with your hands. All right, girls, we played fair and square. I'll be first, then Natsuki, then Sayuri and Yuri. And don't worry, we'll all, we, we're all gonna have our turn, okay? Again, they turn their heads and stare at me. I casually look away and try to ignore the stares. Sharp as knives. Is that another pun? Oh, that's not funny. Part of the day has already ended. We each read our poems uh, out to the guests who come to the class to check out the literature club. I was surprised on how many people actually came. Most likely due to Natsuki's delicious cupcakes. It was all thanks to the girls' ideas that made the club what it is. Everyone was shy at first reading their poems to people, but all that... All but Monica, that is. She knows the... She showed the radiance of a brilliant star. It was nothing short of amazing. Monica walks up to me. You know, dang, I was fast. <laughs> You know, Scrub Pie, there's some free time right now. How about you and me check out a little bit of the festival? I've already spoken to the girls and we're in agreement on when we can all have some free time with you. So, are you ready? My body is ready. <laughs> okay, let's go. Finally, some alone time with Monica. Wait, I grab Monica's hand and rush out of the club room uh, door with her. We walk down the class halls and admire all the other clubs around. Some classrooms are made to be many restaurants, while uh, one was a cafe. Monica stops me. 
How about we check this place first? It looks like one of the club rooms is made to look like a spooky haunted house, but small. No, not there. Follow me. I talk- I take Monica's hand and follow her down the hallway. She takes me to the part of the school I don't recognize, but when I open the door, it all seems too familiar. Please, come in. <gasps> oh! Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, but I gotta end this here! <laughs> I'm sorry, but it is, it's getting too long, okay? But it's a, I think it's a great place to end it. Again, guys, I have no idea just how long this actually is. I really, really don't know. Um, so I, I would say the next episode is going to be the last one, but I don't really know that for certain. But I will not make the episodes longer than 30 minutes because I don't- this is definitely probably gonna be 30 minutes and I don't want, you know, 30 minutes to me is pushing it. So anyway, guys, as always, if you like this episode, be sure to drop a like down below. Today's script of the day is gonna go proudly to Jonish Sweden. BG Mike, I have a confession to make. I've only found you about a month ago and you're consistently funny, but you made me a weeb. I've started binge watching anime again this weekend and I've been clean for like eight years. I'm so sorry, I never meant to be an enabler, okay? I didn't mean to enable your anime addiction, I'm so sorry, okay? But have you met all my anime waifus over here? I actually have a problem too, someone help please? If you guys want to be scrub of the day, be sure to show some support on the videos, I can't even talk. Just show some support on the videos, guys. What is wrong with you, alright? Just drop a like. That's all you gotta do, okay? Alright? I cannot release the next episode of Doki Doki unless this video gets 5k likes, okay? I- my hands are tied with this. I can't do it. I just can't. Like, YouTube has this new update where I can't even- <laughs> I'm not lying, I, I swear. I'm lying, actually. Seriously, guys, I always appre appreciate all the support that you guys give, like leaving likes, following me on Twitter, leaving comments, you know? I, I try to read as many as I can and give you guys hearts, at least, if I don't reply, and I try to reply to some. Uh, I just always want to show you guys that I do care, and I I'm just so thankful for what I get to do, and the fact that we have this connection with each other. Uh, yeah, thank you. Before you guys go, uh, I played this game called School Days, and it's very similar to Doki Doki, uh, and Yandere Simulator, if you like those types of things. You guys smashed it with a hundred thousand views already? Holy crap, if you guys want to check that out, if you haven't already, I encourage you, it'll be linked at the end of this video. A card will come up around here. Frillsies. Check it out, okay? And don't worry, episode 2 is coming out really soon, if it hasn't already. Thanks for watching, I'm BG Mike, and I'll see you scrubs in the next one. Bye guys!